Now we are joined by Louise. Now, would you like to tell us why you are here? Yeah, no, um, when I was 13, I found out that a relative of mine travelled on the Titanic and she died. And since then, I've been trying to find out a little bit more about her. What's the name you have? Bridget Mary O'Sullivan. And why was Bridget Mary O'Sullivan on the Titanic in the first place? Um, she was travelling over to America to meet with um, two of her sisters and she was travelling with her boyfriend, Joseph Foley. And um, so she was the same age as I am at the moment when she was on the way over there and unfortunately she never made it. It's kind of a heartbreaking story. Oh, it's like the movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly, same story. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is John Grenham. John, what can you tell us? Well, the, the story of the Titanic is pretty well known. It left Southampton um, in April 1912. It had 2,200 people on board, and when it eventually hit the iceberg, 1,500 of those were killed. Its last port of call before it got out into the Atlantic was Queenstown, as it was known then, now Cove. Almost 120 Irish people got on board, like your grand aunt. Most of them would have been migrants going to New York, um, seeking a better life. And like your grand aunt, most of them would have died on the Titanic. I want you to know about this particular story, though, because I know you've done okay. some digging. Um, well, we found out something very specific. Apparently, after it struck the iceberg, as it was sinking, she was seen with Joseph Foley almost at the boat deck, almost up at the top. And apparently she decided she had to go back and get her handbag. And of course, Joseph Foley had to go back with her. <gasps> and that was the last anybody ever saw of them. Oh dear. Yeah. So it's such an ordinary thing. It's happened to everybody. It's happened to everybody's boyfriend and husband <laughs> as well. And it, that's it, that cost them both their lives. Yeah, we can all relate to leaving a handbag yeah. behind us and yeah. running back, so I don't think I'll be doing it next time, forget it. No, <laughs> just leave it, just leave it where so it is. something so ridiculous when yeah. you think yeah. about it. Whatever was in that handbag was obviously terribly important to them if they thought they were going to make it to the new world, yeah. and whatever savings they had was probably in yeah. that bag, you know? Yeah. Okay, no, no, Isn't that the sad thing? It is, yeah. It's very sad. We also found something else that you, you might not be aware of, and we traced her sister Nellie in New York. She married a man called Richard Godsell, from Cork, and they moved out to Montana, um, out to a place called Deer Lodge near Yellowstone Park. And um, we found here uh, a picture of Nellie. This is her taken sometime probably in the 1930s. There is a family resemblance, isn't there? <laughs> definitely. Not the hair style. <laughs> definitely not. Okay. And here's her, her husband, Richard Godsell, an in law of yours. Yeah. Right where. Okay. Nice to meet him. One of their daughters, Mary, married a man called Sewell and set up. Uh, a shop in Deer Lodge in Montana, and we have a picture of that here now in the 1950s. You can see there's Sewell's food stores, and not only that, we've managed to trace the family down to the present day. And we have contact details and addresses and so on. We'll give them to you after the, the show, That's and you can, you can contact them. So there is a, a connection again via Bridget back yeah. to, the, to her family in the new world. And just out of curiosity, did they know this story? No. no, they had no, no. idea either. No. My goodness gracious no. me. So, I see that the two ends will meet at last. Yeah, that's brilliant because it just it makes, it makes it more real. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? And so yeah. will you contact them now when we give you the details, yeah, you think? Yeah, definitely, because um, since I found out, since I, was, since I was 13 and I found out her name and, you know, even how much she had paid for her ticket, I was always dying to find out more. So it's, it's brilliant that there is, actually, there is actually a link behind it and there's a person now behind the story. Just out of curiosity, how much did she pay for the ticket? I can't actually remember. You can't. <laughs> but my grandfather was a travel agent who sold tickets. To the no Titanic. way. It's all your fault. Circles, <laughs> circles within circles. There could be a link there as well. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so, no, yeah. no. But it's lovely to meet you. I hope that's uh, okay. going to help further your investigations if you decide awesome. to carry it even further. Lovely to meet you, Louise. Thank you for coming in. Let's hear for Louise. I didn't really know how much um, the experts could, could actually tell me about it other than maybe her sister's names or something like that. So it's, it's fantastic that they were able to trace it and put me in touch with a real living person. <laughs>